What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Chaps, right man, let me get in. What I thought I'd do real quick for you guys is show you some Sherlin jackets that I got in. Um, you saw the lookbook, um, the teaser video that I did where I was trying on all the Sherlin jackets. And um, Sherlin jackets are amongst my favourite jackets to wear. They're amongst my favourite things to get around the winter time. So you usually see me um, rocking the Sherlin jackets. Actually, what's going on, man? There's one missing. Let me see if I can't get it. Bam! There it is, man. Got this um, Burberry Sherlin jacket. It's one of my favourite pieces. This is the Berlin, um, Burberry uh, Sherlin jacket right here. So just to start you off with a little bit of Burberry, a lot of you know the Burberry brand, but I'm just going to break it down real quick so we can really understand where these jackets are coming from. So um, Burberry was started in 1856 by a guy called Thomas Burberry, who was a 21 year old dressmaker. He went on to invent a material called, I think it was called Garbodyne, and a tightly woven and durable waterproof fabric which revolutionized rainwear with its breathable and lightweight qualities. This went on to form the basis of their iconic trench coats. Now, Burberry was um, a really cool brand. Um, in the 90s, it kind of went downhill. It was kind of seen as a bit of a chav brand. It really kind of lost its way. And, and even the stores back then in the, in the 90s really tended to be quite old and traditional country style, really kind of toffee nosed type um, style of clothing and people were not really buying it. Uh, moving on into the um, early 2000s, Burberry really started to change their direction. I think they got a new designer on board. I can't remember their name, but they really started to pick up and um, change the brand around. And now Burberry is absolutely huge. The thing I find with Burberry is that some Burberry stuff, like this jacket right here, and some particular um, jackets are really, really nice. But then I've come across some Burberry jackets where the quality is not great. But if you can find the good stuff like this, this type of coat here, then yeah, you're, you're doing good. You're doing good. This jacket, um, it, I think it retailed for something like 2,500. Um, I didn't pay that. I was really lucky to, to get this on eBay. I think I paid like 500. 550 or something like that when I got the jacket it was in brand new condition absolutely no problems at all and I managed to source this so yeah this one's part of the Burberry London range as you could tell what you usually find is when Burberry put these little blue marks on here it usually means that it was in some type of sale so they put these marks in there I've just noticed that when I've when I've seen this stuff on sale you can see they've got a nice print on the inside there as well where it says Burberry which is quite cool and I think that's the kind of horse logo graphic there that you can see it's got a sheepskin outer Sherling, in, um, real Sherling interior, so nice man, really really warm, always get compliments on this jacket when I wear this one. Um, it's got epaulets to the shoulders there as you can see, nice big chunky buttons for the epaulets and we've even got Burberry engraved inside the buttons there as you can see. Beautiful, stunning jacket this one man. Moving on to the next jacket that we see right here is the Coach jacket. Now um, I'm kind of new to the Coach brand, I haven't really seen much of Coach before, I always thought there was a women's wear brand but then um, I came across some of their menswear stuff and I actually thought it was really cool so I've got this coach jacket in here. Coach, it, coach is a leading um, New York design house which creates modern luxury and accessories and lifestyle collections for men and women. The company started in 1941 as a family family run workshop in New York City where they became pioneers in leather goods and accessories. So these guys really started off with accessories and now they're doing a lot more clothing wear and it's nice to see that they're doing a lot more clothing wear for men. Now I saw this jacket, absolutely fell in love with it. This one retailed for 1,700, which is a lot of money, man. It's not cheap. If you look back at the Joseph outlet video where I tried on some stuff in Joseph, you would see that I tried on a Sherlin jacket from Joseph. That was 600 and it was absolutely amazing. So um, I'm a little bit in two minds whether I would still keep this one or go for the, um, that, um, that Joseph one, because I actually think the Joseph one was really nice quality. But when I was looking at this on the lookbook video, I really did kind of fall in love with the look. I really did like the way they put the shilling around the um, pockets there. The leather is absolutely beautiful. Um, really good quality leather and it's even got like a crinkle finish on the leather there as you can see. Now, I was laughing at the zips because I thought they were absolutely massive as you can see there. These are called OBO. Never heard of them. It's probably Coach's own zip. But you can see that the zips are so nice, thick and chunky. On the inside here, you've got a little kind of like leather pouch here, which is your interior pocket and you can see it's got coach on the inside now I did notice some labels here as well so we've got coach there here we go Sherling lamb um, Sherling origin from it's from Spain so it's Spanish 
lamb leather and the trim is cow leather so yeah that's the Sherlin jacket man 1700 though it's, it's, it's pretty pretty expensive but you know what the quality on this is absolutely amazing stunning jacket that one man stunning now moving on to the next Sherlin jacket here I've got this one right here this is the um, Burberry um, overcoat Australian jacket such a such a nice jacket this one very very cool again this is part of the Burberry London range as you can see right there now this one I think retail for something like 2000 2500 I think I paid 400 from this on eBay you can see it's got full sterling on the inside there the quality of the leather of this jacket is so nice it's really good quality what I liked about this one as well is it's got the belt going around the outside as well um, which goes all the way around so you can taper it um, around the waist and you guys know I love doing that this one is by far the most heaviest of the jackets so that that says to me that the quality is a really good leather really well made you can see the epaulettes on the shoulders there which is nice so again you've got that military influence which is really cool and we also got it on the um, cuffs there as well so you can adjust that if you want to but I quite like it how it is I think it's quite cool again this is the type of jacket I just wouldn't sell it I wouldn't sell this jacket man, the quality of this jacket is just, it's just so nice, so that's that one. Um, another jacket that I got in, I call this the Inglorious Bastards jacket, because this is the jacket that um, that uh, Brad Pitt wore in the movie Inglorious Bastards, so it's a bit of a collector's piece this one, I think this one retail for three, £3,000 plus. Bellstaff is actually a UK brand which started in 1924, it tends to um, emphasise a lot of its clothing more towards motorcyclists, so it used to sponsor or it used to dress a lot of people that used to go into the motorbike races in the in the early years so we're talking like in the 1920s um, during 1940 to 1945 Bell Staff started supplying everything from parachute to avi aviator belts jackets and outerwear to um, servicemen airmen and sailors during the world war so Bell Staff is really steeped in history man that's why I like this jacket it's been going on for a very long time in 1963, a famous actor called Steve McQueen was outfitted in the Bell Staff um, apparel um, for his big screen movie, The Great Escape. S uh, Steve McQueen was already a huge motorbike fan at the time, and he soon became a huge Bell Staff fan. Um, now you can see a lot of celebrities rocking Bell Staff, like David Beckham, Ewan McGregor, Will Smith, and Kate Moss are some of the fans of Bell Staff. So yeah, super dope jacket this one, man. Really like this one. What I liked about this one is you've got that kind of leather detailing going around the back there, as you can see, which is quite nice. And then you've got the shirling going all the way through the um, through the collar of the jacket, and I quite like it because it it comes right down over the chest right there heavyweighted jacket this one it has got some nice padding on the inside so it does feel really nice and with the bell staff jackets they always tend to put the name of the jacket in there so you can see this is called the s icon blues on now funny enough this jacket is a double xl um but it, luckily luckily it fits me just fine it almost fits like an xl it's a very very slightly too big for me but i don't mind that at all I, 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 you saw it on it didn't look too bad so that's it man, that's a review of the, my Sherlin jackets that I'm going to be rocking this winter. I do love Sherlin jackets, but remember you can jump onto um, eBay and find Sherlin jackets. You can also jump onto Bellstaff, Burberry or Coach to um, see what these jackets are saying, okay? So that's it man, that's it for the videos guys. I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you enjoyed the teaser video. I'm out of here yo, more videos coming man, stay tuned.